Hello, and thanks for joining me in the shop at Inkra Tools. I'd like to talk in this segment a bit more about uh, the efficiency of doing joinery with an Inkra LS router system. We always try to get people to understand that the LS systems can really do anything that can be done on a router table, whether it's uh, the shaping and molding and just running to the mill things you do every day, rabbits, dados, turning very large raised panel cutters for frame and panel doors. Uh, there's no question, though, the systems have built their reputation on very precise joinery, and they're also very efficient. Part of that efficiency comes from the fact that there aren't many situations where you're working with just one board at a time. And to illustrate that, I'd like to show you an alternative method for doing box joints, and uh, I, I'm going to be cutting all four sides of a box at the same time. We're going to take that a step further as well. Uh, if you've ever worked done box joints, you realize that these are cross-grain cuts, and it really doesn't matter how you do them, you're fighting tear out every step of the way. Uh, in, in addition to stacking in all four sides of that at the same time, we're going to include both a front board and a backing board, so there's full zero clearance for every board that's in that stack. And when you do box joints, or dovetails for that matter, uh, you, you typically think of the mating halves of the joint. Those are two separate sets of cuts, and they're typically done one set of cuts and then another set of cuts. On all of the templates that slide into the Inqua router systems, they'll generally have two sets of lines on them for that exact same reason. Uh, the, the time saver shortcut I'd like to illustrate for you is a little bit different than what you see in the manuals. Uh, we'll be doing all of this in one set of cuts. I've got a spacer board that in thickness is exactly the same as the diameter of the router bits. And before I clamp all these parts in there, we're just going to take those front three boards, space them sideways, and then clamp them in place. The spacer board comes out, we're ready for the first set of cuts. I'm using just one of these lines that's on this box joint template. And, uh, you know, this is not the video to go into too much detail about uh, the mechanics and the concept of what makes an Inkra jig work. But what I'm doing is running through here, stopping at each line on this template through a hairline cursor. Your eyesight through this cursor really only needs to get you somewhere in the ballpark because what happens every time you lock an LS positioner down, there's a very simple set of mechanics that causes it to center up on perfect 30 seconds of an inch with no way for you to get in between. So it's really the accuracy of the positioner that gives you the accuracy to hit each of those cuts. The first set of cuts is done. Put the front board and the back board right in their original positions. Spacer board goes back in front. We'll clamp the whole stack again. And one of the benefits of using a mechanical positioner versus one, you know, where you tap it back and forth, reading a ruler, uh, that type of thing, is every fence position is completely repeatable. And uh, this is an interesting way to illustrate this too. If you look at the front board that's already been cut, as we run back through that exact same series of cuts, you'll see that the router bit passes perfectly through the original openings that we cut in it. All right, got all the parts cut. Front board, back board. Put all these together. Third side and fourth side. And you can see that what we've done is knocked together four sides of a box done all at the same time, a total of about three minutes worth of cutting. And because of the front board, back board, and the fact that every other board in there serves as a backing board for its neighbor, uh, there's not a splinter out of place on any of those. 
Uh, there again, you know, this is just a little alternative to what you see described in the manual. Also inter interesting to note that there are no wrong ways to use these tools. And this is just one of many, many different methods that you can discover on your own that help you do nicer work in less time in whatever project you have coming up. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks for joining me in the shop at Anchor Tools.